Supreme Court verdict regarding the Kando governorship election and applications are profound. In a landmark judgment, the court has rendered a decision that could reshape the political landscape in Kano State as a northern commercial nerve center. This verdict carries particular significance for the New Nigeria People's Party, the NNPP. The New Nigeria People's Party, which currently holds the reins of in the state, the fate of the party hangs in the balance as these ruling not only impacts the governorship, the leadership, but also poses critical questions about the future, uh, future trajectory of the NNPP. My next guest tonight will be joining me to shed light on the recent developments surrounding the Kano governorship election case, the leadership dynamics of the NNPP, and the prominent role of political figure Rabi Kwankunso. Please welcome Buba Galadima, uh, a seasoned chieftain of the NNPP. Thank you so much, Alaji Galadima, for joining us. Thank you, Sheldon. And for congratulations me. on your party's uh, victory at the Supreme Court. Well, thank you. Uh, it was a dicey one, isn't it? <laughs> because, I mean, having lost at the tribunal, having lost at the appeal court, I mean, if you had lost at the Supreme Court, that would have meant that NNPP, the only state that you, uh, you are holding to it, would have slipped out of your hands. Well, uh, Sheldon, thank you very much for having me on this program. And uh, I want to assure you that I'm one person that never gave hope, never gave in that we would lose Kano. You didn't have any fear at all? No, I never had any fear, except I had an anxiety, but not fear. What was the anxiety? What was it about? Well, the anxiety is that I know how those in authority were put in a tight corner by their subordinates who always drum that we must take Kano by force. They didn't understand democracy. So there was a plan to take Kano at the By Supreme force, Court. yes, yes. Not uh, from every, at every level. Let me first congratulate the Supreme Court for restoring the honor, dignity of the judiciary. The congratulation is not for ANPP or ABBA. It is for the Supreme Court. If they had ruled otherwise, they could have been stoned on the streets of Nigeria. And nobody could have been able to ride a car with the inscription of Supreme Court of Nigeria. Why and you, why do you say so? There would have been a total loss of confidence on the judiciary. And I don't think anybody would ever dream of going to the court to seek for redress. Why do you say but so? Because the court of public opinion all over the world, if I show you my telephone, suggests that Abbas victory, there was in the whole of 2023 election, the only place where election took place was Kano. And there was nothing the APC didn't do to win Kano. And I will swear by the Quran, as I said before you, that a former senator, now APC chieftain in Kano, told me that the votes they got is less than 200,000. I swear by the Quran. But what happened? Because and I know an INEC man who told me that APC never went into election in Kano to contest, but to conquer. And that they have promised every electoral officer at the polling unit that if you, if you, if you spoil the votes of the box, you will have one million naira. That is why there was overvoting. That was why there was violence. That was why there was everything. Despite all this, they recorded over 800,000 votes. They didn't get that. They know. And these are heavy allegations. It's not They're an talking allegation. They're about uh, and, and, and more of a hearsay. And you're saying someone told you, someone told you. I say without that evidence somebody of... who participated, and I believe in him. I know him. You don't know him. It may not be true. It may, it may be false. Uh, we've been in this game for a long time to know what is right and what is wrong. 
no, people were paid. And let me tell you people what people don't. According Today to they should know that members of the tribunal arrived to Kano in the afternoon to give judgment the following day. They were picked from Kano by unknown people, put into the plane, and brought to Abuja. And they held a Zoom, a, a Zoom uh, a, a judgment session from somebody's private house or office. And you know for sure that the Court of Appeal disgraced itself but by what they have done. Because their judgment was to give up by judgment. But they, were, they did what they did, and it was deliberate. Because such learn, learn, learned men, after giving that judgment, pronouncing that judgment, they didn't release the certified copy of that judgment until after three or four days. You think they wouldn't have detected those mistakes? Well, I mean, in all of what you're saying, I mean, these are heavy allegations that you have made uh, in, in what has happened. But today, we know that Governor Abba Yusuf arrived in Kano to a tumultuous uh, welcome uh, from uh, supporters of uh, the party. These are pictures of Governor Abba Yusuf arriving in Kano to a warm embrace of even the red cap uh, bear, uh, wearing uh, supporters of the NNPP. Uh, Alaji Galadima, what does this mean for the NNPP? Well, uh, you didn't show the, the critical areas for the world to see that this is just a scanty picture of where Abba went through. Abba Kabir Yusuf left Kaduna, his rest, where he left from Kaduna, 8 o'clock. And as we speak now, to 9 o'clock, he has not yet arrived at his house in Kano. Because of those who, are, who have come to welcome him yes. on the road. Yes. That's how popular he is on the ground. It, it, it shows is he Abba Yusuf or Kwankwaso? Well, it is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is a combination of both. But more so is the trust they have in the leadership of the NNPP. What is if Kwankwaso says, go and fall into fire and die, I'm telling you half of Kano people will do that. And that's, that's a because dangerous... Because they so much believe in him. That's a dangerous one to say. I mean, yeah, well, it's the trust. I've just, I've just seen you drilling my friend on the issue of trust and morality. They trust him. So, Kwan Kwaso uh, is one Kwan Kwaso, one Kano. That is it. Of isn't course it? they know. But what has and, become of Kwan Kwaso and NNPP? Because it does look like the center is no longer holding. Why? There, are those who, there are some forces in the NNPP who wanted him out. No, 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 no. no. There are some leaders of the APC that were paying some dissident groups in the NNPP to try to portray Kwan Kwaso in a bad light. And they are using them. But they had the, a test of their own pill. They went to court. Where are you? Do you? Can you know where? They went to court in Anambra, where the party was born, in Oka, and challenged the authenticity of the leadership of the NNPP. Do you know what the judge ruled? If they ever mention that, they will find themselves in Kri Kri. Have, they, have, you, have you heard about them now? They took 300 million from somebody in APC. And those people, they are now even chasing individual NNPP people, gubernatorial candidates and others, promising them heaven and earth to show the president that, look, we are dismantling Kwankoso structures. But Kwankoso does not own NNPP. No, family. he doesn't. He's only... There is a politician in Anambra State who founded NNPP. Is yes. that right? Yes. And that, that, I mean, that there are those who believe that Kwan Kwan so came into an NPP to take over the party. You say, you say those who believe. I mean, th th that's what the, the Agbo Major side of the divide believe. Uh, you, so you believe them? No, that's what they are. They said they've been in the party what did the before. Court, what did the court I, I, I tell like them? Kwan so. If they open their mouth and say they are members of the a, 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 NPP, according to the court, they should be sent to prison. Uh, so what is the fate of 
your leader, Alaji Robi Kwan Kunso, in the NNPP? He's still the leader of the party. And uh, I want the people to understand something. Ponkoso is being called Madugu. What does that mean? Before, before, before he joined even PDP. He was also called ja, uh, Jagora. The meaning of Madugu and Jagora is leader. So he's not only a leader in NNPP, but he's a universally accepted people, a person, as, 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 as a leader and manager of human beings who had done well for the people. That is why they love him. Selfless. But, Sheon, I started something which I did not finish in the opening remark. No, I congratulated the judiciary for having salvaged their image. I could have also wanted to extend that I'm congratulating Mr. President for not interfering with the judiciary because Nigeria could have been on fire by now if what happened on Friday did not happen. So I congratulate him for having the strength of character. And you can see that peace has pervaded the whole of Nigeria and our rating in the eyes of the world has come up. That would be a credit for Mr. President. And when I said I wanted to see him, I called him once, twice, three times, and we spoke. You mean President Tunubu? Yes. Have you been able to see him? I was able to speak to him. I wasn't able to see him. I had wanted to see him to tell him one thing, that whoever comes to tell you, take over Kano, nothing will happen. I had wanted to tell him that that man is your enemy, that he wanted to destroy you as a, an individual, destroy your image, and he wants to destroy Nigeria. But what would you say is a major lesson for the NNPP from this Supreme Court judgment? Because there are fundamental issues which relate to also membership and party administration as ruled by the courts. No. The tribunal and the Court of Appeal were forced to give those judgments they did. We had no issue. Ordinarily, nobody could have gone to court on Kano because that was the only state where elections was held in Nigeria, fairly. So, me, I don't think there is any lesson for us to learn. The only lesson is that we should thank God Almighty for having delivered the country and justice prevailed over falsehood. That's the only lesson. As a one-state party, a state that owes that sway in one state, I mean, you are hoping to be a more national party. How does your party hope to achieve this? Oh, you're saying this, Sheon? I thought, I thought uh, Buhari had only Nasarawa. And he became what? Even somebody without... Any, any chairman of local government can become the president of Nigeria if destined by God. So, Juan Kanso is still hoping to become president? I would want him to be. I don't know what he thinks. Has he given up on being the president? I, I, he didn't discuss that. Our problem is to sort out this case. And this has been resolved now. Then we will, we will sit down and talk. So what do you The mean? most important thing for us to do is to deliver on our promises. And we said, I, here, in programs with you, I have talked about all the good things of life that we would do. Shall we be given the opportunity to govern Nigeria? And we have started that in Kano. This is why the people are ready to sacrifice their lives to make sure that this government survives to continue with the good work send their children to school, uh, feed their children, give their children uniform, give them health, uh, 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 whatever, pay pensioners, pay uh, gratuity, pay this, do this, do that, build roads, build schools, open schools, do this. 
and this ABBA had been doing effectively. Alone, the work done by ABBA in Kano in the last seven months was not done by all the other 35 governors of Nigeria put together in this period. Would that be right? Yes. What you are saying? And I challenge, let, let, let them bring what they've done, and I tell you what ABBA has done. On the final note, uh, Aladdin, on the Aladdin. final? Yes, on the final note. Yeah. Except if you want to pay for an hour to four. <laughs> <laughs> because we're crossing <laughs> we are we are we are crossing over to, to just another in in terms of our wheel of programming. I mean, in all of these, uh, Alaji Galadima, you are being on the ground. There is an opportunity for Alaji Kwonkunso to, to uh, emerge with the president. The, those who believe that there is going to be some alliance with, uh, with the president and Kwonkunso. Why didn't that alliance work? Well, uh, we have been accused of several things. Kwonkunso was called several names. Several names because people did not understand politics. And after the last third meeting, they came in forcefully because they thought that Konkoso and, 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 and President Tinubu were discussing alliance or working together. Therefore, they were afraid of Konkoso's stature and, 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 and capacity and uh, hard work and this. So they came in between them and, uh, and, and, and uh, barricaded what the president. Day? Those who fear Konkoso around the president. So that's why it didn't work? Well, it didn't continue. The dis their discussion didn't continue. Not that it didn't work. But he was supposed to be made a minister. That was what we said. I heard. didn't know. He didn't tell me. The president didn't tell me. All right. It's always a pleasure having you and seeing you. Thank you so much, indeed. I, I have to say, you know, Sherwin, you've not seen me for seven months. Yes. I had been sick. Thank God that you are better now. And uh, I had three major operations spent over a month in India. And uh, I even promised not to speak to the press until after one year of this government. But because I am so happy with what had happened in Nigeria, the peace that has prevailed in this country, common sense, and that the judiciary delivered is safe, the president, if he can gauge his rating now in the country and across the world, he has come up <laughs> because... They saw him as a statesman who refused to be cajoled, to be pushed, to take over what does not belong to him. Alaji Galadima, thank you so much for your health, and we wish you that you feel better and breathe stronger. Thank you. Thank you so much indeed. I appreciate it. You yeah. don't look like someone who was sick anyways, but thanks to, thanks to God for that. <laughs> That's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm sure Kim Aloe. Enjoy the rest of your evening.